Hello and welcome back to the show. We are learning how to make VR applications for Unity 2017 and your Android phone. And in today's video, we are taking a viewer request. Uh, Adam Kuoka asks, have you thought about explaining how to create a 2D menu for the application start and then switching to VR after uh, tapping play with a finger? Uh, yes, we can do that. It is... Uh, I would say a two-part process, and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start with figuring out, first of all, how to actually um, change the scene from one scene to the other, and then in a second video we're going to be discussing how to make one scene in 2D and then the next in VR. So let's go ahead and open up the project that we've been working on for a while. Uh, we basically have a view that allows us to look around, and if we look at an object long enough, then we can make something happen. So, right there, we stared at that object and triggered an animation. So, in order to move between two scenes, obviously we're going to have to have a second scene. So, let's go over here to our assets, right-click, and create a new scene. We're going to go ahead and call this one Main Menu. All right. So the idea is that when we go into the main menu, we will basically have a start button. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a start button. So create an empty game object. Uh, doesn't matter what you name it. I'm going to name mine Joffrey. And I am going to create a user interface canvas, which will give us access to a user interface button. Let's go ahead and change the text on our button to something interesting. All right, now we have a play button there. All right, and you notice that we've got ourselves an event system. The event system works the same as an event trigger and the GVR event system that we've been using before, uh, except now it's called on click. So let's go ahead and create a script that we can attach to this on click event. And go ahead and go into your scripts and we will create a new one, the new C Sharp script called Scene Loadinator. There we go. Go ahead and open that up. Now, in order to change scenes, what we're going to need to do is use the Unity Engine Scene Manager. So, using Unity engine dot scene management there we go and put the semicolon there we're not going to need an update so go ahead and get rid of this update function and in the start function we're going to add a single line of code so uh, scene manager dot load scene now you can choose between load scene and load scene async. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, load scene async is for preloading objects in a scene that you're about to open, but uh, we can use the regular load scene for this right now without any sort of repercussions. You'll need to put your, your stuff in uh, parentheses and quotes, and right here we're going to be writing the name of our actual second scene that we need to go to. And don't forget to add a semicolon. All right, this is basically it. Uh, scene manager, load scene, and then whatever the name of your scene is. So we're going to go ahead and save this, and then go back to Unity. And we're going to attach it to Joffrey. So scene loadinator to Joffrey. That's right, he's our script butler. All right, now, our button down here, which is an event trigger, we can hit the plus sign and then select what we want. And what we want is Joffrey, because he has the scene loadinator script. Go up here to bool enabled. Now, if you remember, boolean is either on or off. So what happens is we get the ability to say whether this boolean is on or off, and we want it to be on. Okay, now go ahead and click back on Joffrey. 
right now this script is active so if we just ran the scene right now the script would go ahead and take off and do whatever it is that we want it to do and we don't want it to do that so since we are we want it to be triggered by this button we need to make sure that it is turned off before we try to push that button so now the button has the ability to make sure it's turned on okay so let's go ahead and try this out and play all right there we go now we are in our VR scene all right so that's basically a very simple method on how to change your scenes it's a, a very simple script that uh, doesn't require a whole lot of whole lot of work and this can be just jotted down in a notebook for future notice so I highly recommend you do that all right so uh, in our next video we're gonna actually get into the 2d versus VR because right now if this will work in your scene editor just fine but if you tried to build this to your Android phone you would notice that uh, your scene here is actually still in VR the reason for that if we go over here to build settings and click over here on our player settings right here we have chosen virtual reality supported in that checkbox right there and we chose cardboard as our virtual reality SDK now if we decided to deactivate that so that in this particular scene we are not uh, in VR by the time that we click this button and go into the next scene it's still going to be in 2D not in VR so we need to make sure that this always stays active and we will get into all the ins and outs of that in the next video so I will see you guys there have a great day